Si Bea ang ating scriptwriter. Si Herschel ang ating floor director ngayon. Si Yas will be playback. May playback ko tayo. Will be playback. <laughs> so nandito kami, nagpa-production meeting for the media influencers launch of AHC Korean Aesthetic Skin Care Brand. So, so later you would see how we do the event. Uh, I will walk through po kayo dun sa setup. This is actually launching of their pop-up store inside SM Dev Store. your access toward styling world. Bukod po sa pinipicture ko na hair styling business or hair styling world, I also would like to share with you my other profession, which is show directing. Para po mas malawak and unlimited yung mga bagay na may share ko sa inyo. Today, I'm directing a launch of a beauty product, a Korean beauty products na I think number one sa Korea. They brought it here in the Philippines. Which is the KB. And in the other episodes, I can I can share naman some of the hair styling tips, styling business, or any personality na nag excel sa larangan ng hair styling. So that is Hair X all about. We will give you different reviews or different dreams ng aking mundong ginagalawan. Dito po mama, mamaya mangyayari ang media launch natin. It's a small space na nilagyan ng setup ng brand engine. The next! Yes. Go. Be kind of intimate uh, media launch, no? So, dahil we will be revealing or uh, launching the pop-up store. So, as you Since we are launching some of the beauty products, it's usually highlighted with a glorifier like this. We call this glorifier or pedestal. To highlight may mga flyers and may mga samplers. Some details. Of course, they prepared. They prepared. They prepared. Then, sila na mga giveaways for the VIP guests. Korean beauty product na ilo-launch namin this afternoon. So you would see some of its product. We have eye cream for face, the 365 bread, Diasty, Uni Bright, and Aqua Lorone. Okay? That's it. Yes, go. Yeah. So direct for... Hi, direct. And then... And then her. Hi, Angela. Hi, Bea. Bea. 
the right road. Okay. We're about to start in 10 minutes. Later on, we would be asking some people part of the show production to give you idea kung ano mga trabaho at responsibility ano mga challenges sa likod ng isang show production work. today Ben and ano yung mga least favorite mong mga nangyayari uh, meaning the worst right. personally I like to be prepared when it comes to doing voiceover so um, I think it's very important to get to know the product the brand that you're talking about so that's one part um, my least favorite would be since I am quite an organized person I guess like um, abrupt schedule changes stuff like that that's unavoidable but it does happen that you were invited to do a voiceover and then suddenly they want a male voiceover? Uh, well, there are, um, for example, we do give options for female and males, um, but that's something that you really, ha uh, you really have to set your mind so that you don't have expectations when it comes to like getting a project or something like that. Um, but if they do want that male voiceover, they prefer it over female, then I guess that's fine. Because um, if that's what works for the brand or the product that we're selling, wow. that's, that's okay. That's your profession. Yeah. yeah. Do you have an agency? Does voiceover talent in the Philippines have an agency? Um, well, a lot of the samples that I've submitted is made through one of the groups, Facebook groups online. Well, I personally work not as a voiceover talent, but yeah, so I'm just tapped by friends to do this. Wow, okay. Thank you, Anna. Ladies and gentlemen, to officially kick off the launch of AHC in the Philippines, please welcome your host, Miss Angelique Manto. Welcome, It's my pleasure to welcome you all to the grand launch of AHC or Aesthetic Hydration Cosmetics in Korea. The products were really loved by dermatologists, by beauty enthusiasts, and even celebrities. Aesthetic-based skin care solution. And we're the thought after by highly discerning clientele. EFF. I've heard you tried it for a month now. Yes. Yes, for a month. So what were the effects that you have seen after using it? <laughs> so, um, personally, I like it because it simplified my skin scares, uh, skincare steps. And it's really hydrating on the face. And you really see like once you put it, it abs your skin absorbs it and like you instantly feel the hydration. So for me, that's super important and I love it. The Hydro HC eye cream for the face. I had like four other products, toner, moisturizer, eye cream, a spray thing. And now I literally just use the eye cream for the face. And we just saw your Instagram video about it. Very hyper and so hyped up about it. How about you? Okay, so same with them. It definitely simplifies. <laughs> and for me, my tip is to just really keep it simple. That's how I live my life anyway. And perfect product. Keep it simple. Hello, this time naman, ipaliliwanag ni Hershel ang aking matagal na kasama sa production kung ano mga trabaho ng floor, floor director ng stage manager no? ni Hershel, anong ginagawa ng isang floor director sa isang show na kagaya nito? Hi! Hello! Uh, basically, I am the assistant of the director on ground so making sure on time lahat na sampa ng mga talents and host make sure na walang uh, ano yung direct? Uh, Aberia Aberia at saka Malo na may so, so. so uh, in short, ako yung assistant ni Derek on ground. Okay. Next time naman yung setup ng tatlong ano? Sa October. Sa October. 
naman, I'm with Sa. Hi. Samantha Sarabia of Run Engine Event Management who continuously support us with the event. Gusto lang natin i-share sa inyo kung ano ang ginagawa ng isang account manager sa mga events sa kagaya ng Sa. So basically, an account manager makes sure that all of our clients' requirements are put into place. So pag may event, marami mga requirements tulad ng talent, ng program, ng logistics, tapos yung account manager makes sure that everything is there para pagdating ng event mismo, lahat po dito na. Okay. Ano, ano naman ang mga least favorite mong incidente sa isang pagmont ng isang event? Yung mga least favorite mo? Marami. Actually, yung mga kliente, hindi naman lahat. Pero marami sa kanila, last minute, may pa pag ganito, pwede bang pwede pag ganyan. And syempre, dapat prepared ka lang naman. So, also as an account manager, you have to make sure that you have backup plans just in case um, things don't go as planned. So, yun yun. Like, yung may mga pa-extra yung mga kliente, dapat ready ka dun palagi. With the culture of mga Pinoy na hilig humingi ng favor, minsan ang servicing parang teacher us, how do you handle them? Well, as much as possible, we try to give the clients what they want. But um, we also have to make sure that we are clear with them when we can provide what they're asking for. Um, how we handle it, it's basically just making sure the client is happy uh, and being transparent with what we can provide and what is not feasible as of the moment. Paano niyo inahandle yung hindi na pwede pero kinukulit pa rin ang client? Dapat lang mag-explain ng maigi at saka dapat kasi maipaliwanag sa kanila ng mabuti kung paano ba yung proseso ng pag-mount ng event. Kasi minsan akala nila madali lang pero merong mga things that, ha that um, happen so that these things will be put into place. So um, how we tell them na hindi pwede just nicely and explain to them na it's not something that you can come up on a whim. I'm pretty sure si Sam, if she handles rejection, she do, she do it with poise pa rin. Kasi yung personality niya. Thank you, Sam. Sure, thank you, Derek.